Hello students, welcome to Sorbsis classes. My name is Ashmeta and in today's class we are going to talk about the QSAT CAT entrance examinations exam pattern and details. So uh, we have already discussed about the eligibility criteria and how to apply to this entrance examination. So in today's class we are going to discuss only the exam pattern and the syllabus. So let's start the class. Now uh, this uh, entrance examination shall be taken in online mode that is in, through CBT mode that is computer based test. The sections that uh, will be included in this entrance examination uh, shall be divided into paper 1 and paper 2. Paper 1 shall have mathematics with 125 questions and paper 2 shall have physics with 75 questions and um, chemistry also like in paper 2 there would be chemistry also with 50 questions. Total number of questions are coming to 250 questions that is in mathematics section 125 questions, in physics section 75 questions, in chemistry section 50 questions. Maximum marks is coming to 375 marks for paper 1 and uh, 225 marks uh, for physics paper and uh, 150 marks for chemistry paper. Now. Physics and Chemistry is coming to Paper 2 and Mathematics is coming to Paper 1. Now the type of questions include multiple choice questions or objective type questions and the exam duration shall be 180 minutes. The marking scheme shall be 3 marks for every correct answer. For negative marking, you, shall, uh, you will be getting 1 mark minus for every incorrect answer. Now, there would be certain differences in the course-wise uh, number of questions and sections. So, let us discuss the exam pattern course-wise. For BTEC course, if you are giving this entrance examination, you shall be having three sections, Mathematics, Physics and Chemistry. Mathematics shall have 125 questions, then uh, Physics shall have 75 questions and Chemistry shall have... Um, around 50 questions. If you are applying for BCom, BBA or LLB honors, then uh, you will be having almost uh, four sections in your question paper and uh, those shall range from ability in reasoning and logical thinking from where you are getting 50 questions, general English from where you are getting 50 questions, law related matter from where you are getting 25 questions, General Knowledge and Current Affairs from where you are getting 25 questions. If you are applying for LLB course, then you are going to have uh, the sections of English having 25 questions, Comprehension Ability having 25 questions, Logical Reasoning having 25 questions, General Knowledge and Current Affairs having 25 questions, Legal Aptitude having 50 questions. For LLM course, uh, in uh, you, you are going to have logical reasoning section from where you are getting 75 questions and also mathematics section where you are getting 75 questions. Talking about the syllabus, uh, in mathematics you are going to get uh, uh, questions based on sets, then matrices and determinants, relations and, uh, relations and functions, then permutations and combinations, mathematical induction, complex numbers and quadratic equations, then you have these uh, sequences and series, vector algebra, then uh, differential equations, limit continuity and differentiability, then three-dimensional geometry you have, then trigonometry, statistics and probability you have, then mathematical reasoning you also have. Talking about the physics section, you have uh, questions from work, energy and power, then kinematics, dual nature of matter and radiation, then gravitation oscillations and waves, then laws of motion, properties of solids and liquids, electrostatics, then communication systems, atoms and nuclei, then electronic devices, magnetic effects of current and also from magnetism. Talking about the chemistry section, you are going to get questions based on atomic structure, the states of matter, chemical thermodynamics, solutions, chemical bonding and molecular structure, then chemical kinetics, then hydrogen, some basic principles of organic chemistry, then coordination compounds, block elements uh, like alkali and alkaline earth metals, then environmental chemistry, polymers, hydrocarbons, biomolecules, extractive metallurgy, 
then uh, you we will also get questions from chemistry in every everyday life then uh, electrochemistry energy then uh, gases and liquid states uh, chemical kinetics amino acids and peptides carbohydrates chemical equilibrium atomic structure and chemical bonding how can you prepare for this entrance examination first of all uh, if you are preparing for your entrance examinations whichever entrance examination you are preparing for you need to know its exam pattern and syllabus because that uh, keeps on changing from year to year not always but uh, just because uh, you know uh, things uh, are getting so diverse and new things are getting invented so your syllabus also needs re revisions and updates right as a result you need to check the latest changes in your syllabus as well as in your exam pattern the next thing that uh, you can do is uh, solve the practice papers the practice set of papers and also the previous years papers at least the last 5 years would uh, if you prepare um, if you practice and also give mock tests then it will help you a lot mock tests will definitely give you a better understanding of how the actual examination is and within how much time you need to actually finish those mock tests the next thing that you can do is to prepare a timetable for yourself definitely uh, making a proper timetable will help you a lot in your preparation part as well as um, make uh, take out some time for extracurricular activities do not just involve uh, get involved in studies all day long because you need everything so while preparing focus uh, and be concentrated but also take out some time for your extracurriculars and consistency during your preparation is a must so follow that for all subjects uh, candidates can distribute their time evenly and uh, you should also try to dedicate more study hours to the topics that you find difficult now that is quite uh, different for each of you because some will fi uh, find uh, some topic difficult and the others would find that topic to be easier so that's up to you which topic you find difficult you fo uh, you focus on that more and spend some more time on that topic and one thing that you can follow is uh, like strictly if you can follow that will help you a lot at least it can refresh in your mind and help you concentrate better that is uh, always try to take 5 to 7 minutes break after every 25 to 30 minutes of learning it's a scientific way of uh, studying uh, like with more concentration that was all about uh, this entrance examination and if you want to prepare well for this entrance examination then definitely you need the guidance of a good mentor and a good coach and at sorofs classes we provide you with live lectures recorded lectures portal access which is available to the enrolled candidates 24 into 7 we also provide you with uh, regular classes doubt clearing sessions crash course facilities scholarship facilities revision classes and mock test facilities so if you uh, want to enroll with us and get all the benefits you just have to call us at the number given in the description box below do call us because we here teach for all kinds of competitive examinations and if you are somehow preparing for some other entrance examination or for some other recruitment uh, job recruitment based entrance examination then also we are here to provide you with all the guidance and all the study materials and our study materials are also available on Amazon and Flipkart. We also provide uh, solutions to five years uh, li like previous years question papers and also the unsolved papers and sample papers. So if you want uh, all these benefits and if you want to enroll with us then you have to call us and number is given in the description box and also the official website link is given in the description box. You just need to check the official link uh, that will lead you to the official website of Sorofsis Classes. That is www.sorofsisclasses.com. The, the, from there you will get all the glimpses of our classes and uh, what we teach and how we teach. So that was all for today's class also. We are going to meet once again in our next classes.